Yavalim, Jubilees 9. And Ham divided amongst his sons. And the first portion came forth for Cush, towards the east, and to the west of him for Mitzrayim, and to the west of him for Put, and to the west of him and to the west thereof on the sea for Canaan. And Shem also divided amongst his sons, and the first portion came forth for Elam and his sons to the east of the river Chidekel, till it approaches the east, the whole land of India, and on the Red Sea on its coast, and the waters of Didan, and all the mountains of Mebri and Elam, and all the land of Shushan, and all that is on the side of Farnak, to the Red Sea, and the river Tina. And for Ashur came forth the second portion, all the land of Ashur, and Nineveh, and Shinar, and to the border of India, and it ascends and skirts the river. And for Arpakshad came forth the third portion, all the land of the region of the Kajdim, to the east of Parath, bordering on the Red Sea, and all the waters of the desert, close to the tongue of the sea, which looks towards Mitzrayim, all the land of Lebanon, and Sinir, and Amana, to the border of the Parath. And for the Aram there came forth the fourth portion of all the land of Aram, Neharaim, between the Chikadel and the Parath, to the north of the Kazdim, to the border of the mountains of Ashur, and the land of Ararat. And there came forth for Ludi the fifth portion, the mountains of Ashur, and all pertaining to them, till it reaches the great sea, and till it reaches the east of Ashur, his brother. And Japheth also divided the land of his inheritance among his sons. And the first portion came forth for Gimer, to the east from the north side to the river Tina. And in, in, and in the north there came forth for Magog, all the inner portions of the north, until it reaches the Sea of Miat. And for Madai came forth as his portion, that he should possess from the west of his two brothers to the islands and to the coasts of the islands. And for Yavan came forth the fourth portion, every island and the islands which are towards the border of Ludi. And for Tubal there came forth the fifth portion in the midst of the tongue which approaches towards the border of the portion of Ludi, to the second tongue, and to the region, region beyond the second tongue, unto the third tongue. And for Meshech came forth the sixth portion, and all the region beyond the third tongue, till it approaches the east of Gadir. And for Tharak there came forth the seventh portion, four great islands in the midst of the sea, which reach to the portion of Cham, and the islands of Kamaturi came out by lot for the sons of Arpakshad as his inheritance. 
And thus the sons of Noah divided unto their sons in the presence of Noah, their father, and he bound them all by an oath, imprecating a curse on every one that sought to seize the portion which had not fallen to him by his lot. And they all said, So be it. So be it for themselves and their sons forever, throughout their generations, till the day of judgment, on which Yahuwah, Elohim, shall judge them with a sword and with fire for all the unclean wickedness of their errors, wherewith they have filled the earth with transgression and uncleanness and fornication and sin.